the UPS driver's got some tunes going. We have all the windows open. Got puppies in the window. We're about the Godfather on. I'm working next to my baby. He's in his bouncer. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Wednesday. It's a good Wednesday. Disney World trick. If you guys have ever been on the Haunted Mansion, the bus that follow you in the library, do you know how it works? Comment below if you know. Ooh. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Ooh, I got a little stumbly. James and I, we barely made it out of there. I knew if I, I had to keep my elbow. Did you really vlog it? Were you recording it? I just like knew if I just gotta lean my elbow, I got like elbow burn from that fall. But I was like, that's how we're making it through this tunnel. Ooh, James loves this. What's been really nice is that there's hand sanitizer and markers on the floor. So we haven't been like creeped out. Creeped up on people. And then we've also like felt clean in between experiences. Yeah. So look into the prism, now step back and look at it from a greater distance. Illusion of reflections, depending on the position. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's Alrighty, we found Dylan the magician. Gonna show us yeah. Cool. So let's see here. What is your name? Peter. 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 I'm gonna show you all the parts. All good, right? All good. Now, Peter, have you seen those crime shows where like people talk and uh, they give stuff away with certain hints of yeah. like subtle twitches or blinks and that kind of stuff? Well, I'm gonna try to attempt that tonight with you, Peter. Okay. Right. Peter, I want you to cut the cards anywhere you like. Perfect. I'll complete the cut and I'll give you the card that you stopped me. Right? You can go ahead, take a look. You can show the camera if you want. Okay. Cool. I'll put the cards away. You won't need them anymore. I'll pull out. These uh, blank index cards. All right. Now, Peter, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. They're going to sound kind of crazy, All right. but they'll help me visualize what your card could be, okay? Right. So, the first question, Peter, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Oatmeal. Oatmeal. That's interesting. interesting. Did you put anything in your oatmeal or just oatmeal? Plain. Plain oatmeal. Do you have a bottle of syrup maybe nearby? No. Oh, just regular oatmeal. Regular oatmeal. It's crazy. So it makes sense, oatmeal's kind of like on the lighter side, right? Kind of on the lighter side. So with that sense of lightness, it's kind of, I believe it's a red card. It's a red card, yeah, because it's on the lighter side. Yeah. So oatmeal's kind of light red. Cool, so that gives me uh, two suits, hearts and diamonds now. Now how did you get here? Did you walk or drive here? Train. You took the train. Okay. You walked. You walk, but, but you took the train to get yeah. down to Chicago. Yeah. That's cool. So I'm getting a sense then, did you take the Metro or L? Yeah. The L. So did you get that sense of, uh, when you see the city, you get that sense of, like, you like seeing the buildings and the, the, the city vibe type of feel. You love it. You love it. I do love it. That's interesting, because when you, when you said that, I get a sense it's a heart then. It's a red heart, right? It is. It's a red heart. Now, next question. Most important question. What is your favorite color? What's my favorite color? What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Wow, that's interesting. I'm gonna write the word hearts on here because I already know it's a heart. It's a blink of hearts. So you said blue. That's interesting. Getting a sense of blue, kind of like the ocean, right? Ocean. And how many big oceans are there do you know of? Like the, the main oceans. Seven? Seven, maybe? Seven or six? Seven or six, that's interesting, yeah. I'm getting a sense maybe like six blue oceans, something like So I'm getting a sense your card is a six of hearts. That's right. Woo! Thank you. I'll also sign this for you so you can go ahead and keep this as a nice little souvenir for you. Thank you so much, Magician Dylan. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. That is awesome. Thank you. I can't say with certainty, but I believe this is also used in Disney World somewhere. Okay, so here is Dylan's card. He is aiming to get some Instagram followers. Yeah, 200 by the end of the year, he said. I think so. Yeah, he well, does. Awesome. Yeah, he does Instagram lives and different like mag magic tricks that like you don't even have to be there right, for. They're still so, interactive. So yeah. The comments. Yeah. I want to check that out. That's yeah, me that. too. So go ahead and follow him. We'll put the handle here too. James was mesmerized. He was. Oh, it, it's foiled by the, with you standing in there? Yeah. Because you're breaking up the spectrum. Right. So that, since these are the three primary colors, yeah. which that green, because I'm blue-green colorblind looks really weird to me. Yeah. When Sarah's out of here, it looks like a white light with a little bit of hue on the sides. But when she walks in, you can see it breaks up the thing. 
the light spectrum. See, it's just white. Cool. Freaky. Freaky. Alright, so we just finished. We're gonna go walk to Millennium Park because the sun's still out. Yeah. So the woman who first like gave us our first display, she did a Disney College program in 2019. Yeah. Almost extended, chose not to. Worked out because if she would have extended, she would have been sent home. Right. So really nice people. Really, I mean, it's not as like it's not a, it's called a museum, but it's like 80 displays. Yeah. So we were in there for an hour, right. and we didn't feel rushed. No. There was there was like interactiveness. <laughs> there was lessons. A few Disney yeah, use tricks. Staff to help you what you're supposed to be seeing. Yes. Some different games and stuff. We had so much fun. That was so up our alley because I feel like a lot of it I learned in school with like color theory and how your mind works that way. And then so much of it is like mathematical and cool on that end. So, so fun. <laughs> um, definitely check it out. Yeah. I know that they're sold out through the weekend, which is really great. Right. Um, so just, if you're interested, get your tickets in advance. We'll put the link down below. Yeah. And if you're visiting Chicago and it's still here, because we don't we didn't see how long it's lasting or if it's permanent. Right. But definitely check it out. Very cool little fun exhibit. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much for Museum of Illusions for hosting us. Yeah. We, I mean, we loved it. We loved it. But now we're gonna go play in the city some more. Spring is definitely in the air. I can smell yeah, some of the good. blossoming trees already. Yeah. And James is loving so the park. He might have choked, he just choked a little bit on his hand. <laughs> but it might be dinner time for him. Yeah. Since he was sleeping before. But we're gonna find a nice place to sit. Yeah, but look at these beautiful buds coming out already. I'm just so surprised it's past seven, the sun's still awake. And we have the whole evening still. Look at I feel like we should go do something. Yeah? Yeah, what do you want to go do? Do you want to go to the lake? <laughs> Our baby's so cute. Do you want to go? <laughs> he says, yeah, let's go do something fun. Cindy's rooftop. You need reservations, they're only doing dine-in, they're not doing drinks. We'll get there eventually. Um, Restoration of Hardware, Gold Coast, we might see their rooftop. They yeah. have a cafe, but you mm -hmm. can also go on the rooftop. It's a hidden secret, don't tell anybody. I saw it on Instagram. So we're going to walk that away. It's also two miles away. Yeah. And it closes in an hour and 20 minutes. Well, we're just going to still enjoy. If we make it, we make it. If we don't, we don't. We got veggie sticks from Walgreens and we stopped because there's a performance going on by the river. His name is Derek Tate. He's going to do a little mix up. I did a song. We have, we have, we have, come on Eileen. Who made the song with Crusker? Come on Eileen, where's your hand? There we go. We got come on Eileen coming up next. You know I had. And then we have no diggity. Thirty, by the way, that's why. All right, the camera died. That was so much fun. Uh, dancing the whole time. It was so fun. It was really cool. We looked up his Instagram, which we'll put it down below. Yes. He is a professional saxophone player, mm -hmm. high school music teacher. Yes, yeah, so I'm kind of like soul. Just like vibing on his music. Yeah. Love it. It was so fun. Okay, so we came to River North to show you two important things. One is Beatrix. The original. The original is it the the original? I'm gonna show you. Okay. 
It's coming to Disney Springs. Eventually. Eventually. And then here is Maggiano's. For sure the original. And right over there is their banquet hall. And that's where we had our wedding. Ew. They have the road closed. Looks like for seating. Yeah, I think they're just doing it just because there's all these restaurants. That's yeah. so cool. This block is closed off too. That's so cool. I never cool. thought and they would have like done that. And it's just like Wednesday. Yeah. Look, there's a Helio. Oh my gosh. Happening so a piece this of is Disney like Springs literally... is coming here, and a piece of here is going to Disney Springs. <laughs> Can you believe it? I do because the goal of 2022 is for a piece of the Brook Huts to stay here and a piece of the Brook Huts <laughs> to stay in Florida. Wow. Take a peek inside. Oh, Jamesy wants to vlog. Mm. This was one of our bars. Yeah. We were fancy. We had a bar on this side, a bar on that side. Yeah, and a bar upstairs. We had a floating bar upstairs. Mm. Banquet hall in the back. Ding <laughs> ding. See? That's where we had our wedding. That's where the dance floor right was. Right in there. You being such a happy kid? Whoa. What do you think about where we had our wedding? You want to come back here for dinner at Christmas? Oh, yeah. Or before? Both. One day we'll get this updated. It is the 7th of April. Pima Chodron. Mm, didn't say that last name properly. Is the author of the message. Nothing ever goes away until it teaches us what we need to know. That's what we're about to say. My belly kind of hurts. Yeah, it comes to eat chocolate things. I have to get rid of the Easter candy in our house. It's just. That's what I think for my run. Well, we had a wonderful time at the museum. We did, and we started a special promo oh, yeah, on our ACS. That here. We're gonna do a sneak preview because I don't want it to be all at the end. Okay. But the sneak preview is go to our Facebook page or our Twitter. We're posting this on Thursday. This video. Mm -hmm. You have until tonight, the day it posts at midnight, to get in. Maybe we'll do like a little like mini video up or like a little live or something. I don't know. Just to get it out there. Yeah. 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 Um, but check it out. The day this posts for the special deal to sign up for our, the Brook Art Project's first ever virtual 5K themed yes. or in honor of Sarah's dad. And it's mm -hmm. going to be called Just a Quick 5K. Mm -hmm. But there's all these details like in our Facebook group. It's inaugural. Yes. And we'll get the details out. It has to do with donating to American Cancer Society. Yeah. So follow us on other social medias. To check out the details. But you have until midnight tonight. Mm -hmm. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.